Okay, Uniden PC77 circuit board here, component side. So I'm mainly looking at the audio section, electrolytics. I think I'm going to replace all these. I think something is grounding the audio. I don't have a DC short, but I have a seems like the audio is being shorted so I think I'm just going to start pulling out see if I can replace all these electrolytics so I have receive audio but I don't have transmit audio and I don't have PA audio and I've checked everything from the microphone to this point got continuity but I think something is going shorted in here and I do not have a schematic okay on the bench today a uh, unit in PC 77 AM mobile so when I got this CB it had receive um, but no it had transmit carrier but no modulation and uh, so I started troubleshooting it and I was able to I had continuity from the audio pin all the way to the board but I couldn't troubleshoot any farther I, I set up a signal tracer with a 555 timer and a tone and it appears that what I think was happening is one of the caps in the transmit audio section was probably shorting in uh, shorting to ground in the audio it didn't have a DC short but it had a sh short when I think when you try to transmit I think the the signal was just going to ground because I hooked up my signal tracer and I was just getting signal everywhere on the ground so I'm not really sure what was happening but I went ahead and recapped I replaced about a dozen um, electrolytics for the just the transmit side and now I've got audio it's not a powerhouse but it is working uh, I didn't have any mod before just receive audio and I also checked the PA hooked up a speaker and I had no PA so I should have PA now test one two audio test one two three four five break break audio Go over the scope. One, two, audio test. Audio test. One, two, three, four, five. Check, check. Yeah, I got everything cranked up. This microphone is on 10 and the mic gain's on max, and it's not a, I say it's not real loud, but it is passing audio now, so. Okay. Okay back on the unit in PC 77 so I made a couple mods to it um, one is I changed out the resistor it's R156 it's right there that little blue one this thing won't focus um, it was a hundred ohm resistor and I put in a 68 ohm resistor so that was one also turned up the carrier power I just turned up this uh, L13 it's uh, I think it's just under I think I got it set at about three three and three quarters watts hopefully this thing is not going to focus yeah kind of see that it's just below four uh, peak power Audio test, audio test, one, two, three, four, does about eight, eight watts, and then uh, average power. Audio test, audio, maybe four watts. Okay, I'm going to flip this radio over and I'll show you the mod on the other side. Okay, we're on the top side of the board, solder side, and underneath this heat shrink ramp, I put in a 68 picofarad across C109 which is a 
270 picofarad, so it's in parallel. So they add together, gives you 338 picofarad um, of capacitance. So, shaking a little bit here. Um, I read online that what that is, is that's between the output of the driver transistor and the final. And it's supposed to put a little more audio into the collector of the uh, PA, so it's gonna, you know, it's gonna go right into the collector, which is this leg here. This is, I believe, got a it's a 2029 final. It's just a 10 watt, so it's doing about what it should do. So yeah, I think I'm about done playing with the thing. So when I got it, I think I mentioned it uh, had no modulation and I just went through and replaced all the caps you can kind of see the new solder on there um, just did the transmit audio and uh, yeah it works uh, works decent it's not uh, really loud but um, yeah I think it'll be a good little radio let me get the covers back on okay I mentioned earlier that when I first got this radio and I was trying to get the modulation to work it didn't have any the PA um, function did not work so that's kinda how I that's a quick check you can do um, if you've got a CB that has a PA function and you've got receive audio but you don't have modulation you can check um, Put a speaker on here and check the PA and that's a quick way to find out if the um, everything from the microphone all the way through the audio amp and if it has an audio transformer if that's all good so because the PA didn't work uh, that didn't really help me in this instance but anyway I got it working so PA's on right there and I had to I put this a static 636 on here I had the power mic on there and it was just as soon as I keyed up it would just squeal so mic gain is turned way down and volumes at 12 12 o'clock and I got this check this out this old car 54 police microphone or not microphone speaker external speaker test one two test one two check audio yeah, so it works so yeah everything seems to be working um another thing on this radio is uh, I wasn't getting any transmit on channel 40 and I think some of the high channels but I think the I think I probably just need to go in and clean the channel selector because I've been playing with it now I've got output so um, because before I didn't even have carrier power so I think it's just dirty because I've been turning it and this thing's probably been sitting for a long time anyway uh, yeah so I think this is about done I might go over and uh, talk a little bit more about the schematic on this radio Okay, I mentioned I couldn't find any tune-up information, or very little. This uh, CB does not have a modulation adjustment. It's just set. So anyway, um, I was lucky enough to get the schematic online. And it's got a uh, 2SC 2029 final 10 watt. And so I mentioned that mod. So here's the 200, this is C109, it's a 270 pico. So I, I put the one on the back side, the solder side of the board, in parallel with that, the 68 pico farad. And then uh, this is the resistor I was talking about, R56. It was 100 ohm, and then I lowered it down to uh, 68 ohms. So what I did was I I really didn't know if that change in that resistor was going to do anything. So I took one leg out and when I did that I didn't have any modulation. And then I took the resistor out and I put in a um, 
I think it was like 800 or 1,000 ohms or something like that, and it seemed to lower lower the output. So I thought, okay, well, I'll go the other way. So <clears throat> I found that 68 um, ohm resistor, and that seemed to raise it up a little bit. So that's pretty much all I did mod-wise. I don't know that you can do a whole lot on these. Um, yeah, so I think that's about it. So hopefully this was informative. Okay.